Here's another implicit differentiation question. This time we have a curve, but it's got trigonometric x and y's in it. And we're asked to show that dy by dx is the following. So, let's differentiate both sides, as always, with respect to x. d dx of 4 cos x plus 2 sine y is going to be equal to d dx of 3. So, let's differentiate this uh, separately. We can say that d dx of 4 cos x plus d dx of 2 sine y is going to be equal to 0. And uh, let's differentiate uh, 4 cos x. The differential of 4 cos x is negative 4 sine x. And differentiating uh, 2 sine y, well, we're going to, it's going to be clearly plus 2 cos y put dy by dx, that's equal to 0. So therefore, dy by dx is going to be equal to 4 sine x over 2 cos y, which is clearly 2 sine x over cos y, uh, divided both sides by 2, which is uh, equal to 2 sine x sec y, because there's a hidden 1 over cos y here, which is the same thing as sec, and we can write it in that form. So therefore, dy by dx is as required, 2 sine x sec y. So that's the first part for 5 marks. Very easy marks there. Find the equation of the tangent to the curve at this point, given your answer in the following form, where a and b are integers. So we're going to let x be pi by 3 and y be pi by 6. So dy dx where x is pi by 3 and y is pi by 6 is going to be equal to 2 sine of pi by 3 sec of pi by 6, which is a cos over cos of pi by 6. Now, this is equal to sine of 60 is, or sine of pi by 3, which is the same as sine of 60, is going to be equal to 2 uh, multiplied by root 3 over 2, all over cos of uh, pi by 6 is going to be root 3 over 2. And so the answer for this is simply 2. So that's the gradient. And then we're going to use uh, y subtract y1 is mx subtract x1. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to do y subtract pi by 6 is going to be equal to 2x subtract pi by 3. Easiest thing to do here is uh, multiply everything um, out. So we're going to have y minus pi by 6 is going to be 2x subtract 2 pi by 3. Get uh, Because we want integers, let's multiply everything by 6. So we'd have 6y subtract pi is equal to 12x. And 2 thirds pi multiplied by 6 is simply going to be subtract 4 pi. So what we're going to do, we want it in the form, uh, looking up here, ax plus byc, where a and b are integers, c is not. So we want it, we're going to subtract 6y of both sides and add 4 pi. It's going to be 3 pi is equal to 12x, subtract 6y. And we could divide everything through by 3. So pi is equal to uh, 4x, subtract 2y, and we're done. Or if we want to write ax... Uh, ax plus by is equal to pi, and we're done. A here is 4, b is negative 2, and c is equal to pi.